Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Once again, y'all, this is a voiceover. I wasn't expecting to record this message, but it came to me, y'all. And the message I heard is, they can't be here. The scripture comes from Zephaniah 3. Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted. To the tyrannical city, she hears no voice, accepts no correction, and the Lord she has not trusted. To her God, she has not drawn near. Her princes in her midst are roaring lions. Her judges are wolves of the night that have had no bones to gnaw by morning. Her prophets are insolent, treacherous men. Her priests profane what is holy and do violence to the law. The Lord within her is just who does no wrong. Morning after morning, he renders judgment unfailingly at dawn. I have destroyed nations. Their battlements are laid waste. I have made their streets deserted with no one passing through. Their cities are devastated with no man dwelling in them. I said, surely now you will fear me. You will accept correction. She should not fail to see all I have visited upon her. Yet all the more eagerly they have have they done all their corrupt deeds? Therefore, away from me, says the Lord, against the day I sh when I arise to as accuser. For it is my decision to gather together the nations, to assemble the kingdoms, in order to pour out upon them my wrath, all my blazing anger. For in the fire of my jealousy shall all the earth be consumed. Whew. So here's the message. Here's the message, here's the message, here's the message. There is someone that, okay, there is someone that is trying to put their debts up on you, okay? Um, I'm being reminded of this show I was watching where this girl, she was sold um, to a pimp by her father for her father's debt. And her father did I think it was like 500000 she goes and she's trying to give the man the money someone else gave her the money from their savings and she wants to buy her freedom and he comes up with all these bogus charges and tells her that she'll never be free and for someone there is someone that they borrowed some kind of money either they like it's literally like this where they borrowed some money from someone and they are trying to give you as a way to pay their debt or it's a situation where they are like borrowed time like they went to a spirit or they went to a deity or they went to some kind of um i'm pulling that from where the scripture is talking about um the false priests and the false prophets okay they they went to someone that like a witch or a warlock to get whatever okay and there's a debt that they had to pay they are wanting to pay their debt with your life they are wanting to pay their debt with your life this is not exactly for some of you it does mean that they are actually trying to sacrifice you okay and in some cases it's like a sacrifice in a sense where sacrifice you to a life of sin sacrifice you as in like um like your life your destiny the things that god has for you okay god says their debt is not yours that is their own debt it does not have anything to do with you and it's like that is the message god said that is not your problem it is not your issue it is not it doesn't have anything to do with you it is not your fault you won't have nothing to do with that um it is not god is not going to allow your story to be a situation where someone receives something that's what they wanted and they should pay for it you know um that's just like the saying um if you don't work you don't eat you know like that's basically that saying is saying that you are going to have to ensure if you want to eat if you want to live you have to put in work 
and that goes around 100 percent. god is saying like as far as this goes whoever this person is whatever it is they wanted it and god is saying it is well with them that's what they wanted they wanted to seek out voodoo priests or they wanted to seek out people that deal with the underworld or they wanted to seek out whatever rich and powerful whatever person they decided to seek out to borrow money or to borrow uh they wanted power or they wanted whatever it is they wanted they got it that is their they made a promise not you god says they are the ones that made a promise not you and they cannot promise you to anybody you are your own person they are their own person and you are your own person so you are not obligated to whatever it is they vowed you didn't vow anything they made a vow they made a promise god always tells us that we have to be careful about making vows and taking oaths and things like that and you know this is someone they vowed they made an oath they made a vow they made a promise to a deity or they made a vow they made an oath to someone about some money god said that don't have nothing to do with you as far as you are concerned you didn't receive any of that money you didn't receive whatever power you didn't receive any of these things so why would it be fair for you to have to pay for it god says that is none of your business it doesn't have anything to do with you god is not going to allow you to fall into any kind of trick schemes or uh plots deploys to get you put into this bondage god says no you're not going to end up in that because you don't have anything to do with that. Once again, like once again, I'm going to say it again. This is something where you didn't receive anything having to do with this thing. You did not. It didn't have anything to do with you. It had nothing to do with you. It had nothing to do with you. And it is not fair. God is a just judge. God is saying that he will not allow you to fall into a... Uh, a trap that has nothing to do with you. It had nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that's literally the message. Okay. Um, and God has been talking to this person about this. Um, every time they put together some kind of plan or they put together some kind of scheme to get you caught up in this mess, it doesn't work. And they are constantly trying to make it work, but it is not going to work. And, you know, in reality, the sad part of it all is they are trying really hard because they have a debt to pay but god says that is their business they made that promise they made that oath they made that vow you didn't and they did not consult god about this they knew what they were doing was wrong they knew what they were doing was evil they knew what they were doing was not right they did not consult god about this they didn't consult you about this. You didn't receive anything off of this. That's just like, you know, what I, the show I was watching, the girl, she didn't receive none of that money. It had nothing to do with her dad received that. And then he just gave her away. God is saying that this is not a situation. Like, you didn't receive any of this. You didn't get anything from this. You didn't benefit from this. This is something that has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. And your life should not be controlled in such a way. Even thinking about the movie, the sad thing about that woman's situation in that, um, in that movie or TV show is that she is not only in bondage, but she is forced. Like the way that she pays the money back is a sin. And there's no other way that she can do it. Because this man that her father sold her to, technically, he feels as though he owns her. He has possession over her. She could easily pay him the amount that he wants if she had a regular job, a decent job, a respectable job, which is what she yearns for. But she can't get that because somebody sold her into bondage. And this is not about, it's not about the money. It is about control. It is about your soul. It is about like 
for whoever this is for it's not even it's about your soul it's about your soul it's about your soul god says in reality they don't want no money they they are not trying to whatever this person owes they they're not trying to they don't care about that they care about the fact that you are doing what god says they care about the fact that you are following god's word they care about the fact that you are not allowing your soul to be tainted they care about the fact that your soul is free they care about the fact that you belong to god your soul belongs to god god says he is not going to allow you to be tainted in order to fulfill this person whatever vows they made whatever oath they made that doesn't have anything to do with you it has nothing to you didn't make that decision and it would not be fair to you for you to be punished for somebody else's decision and, you know, it's a difference between someone that they put themselves in that situation. They made that choice. They That's what they wanted to do. That's their business. God says this is not the case. This is not the case with you. You didn't make this choice. You didn't make this decision. You did not. It, it doesn't have anything to do with you. They will have to pay their own debt. And that's the message. Like, that's literally the message. Like, uh... Yeah, God says it's not going to work. It doesn't matter what plans they put together. It doesn't matter who they call. It don't matter how they do it. It is not going to go. It will not come to pass. And it will not come to pass because, as God says, this does not have anything to do with you. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recessors of the north, they shall bring me offerings. God says that you belong to him. God has put a change upon you. God has purified you. God lives within you. And God says you will serve him. And that's the end of it. They cannot touch you because you belong to God. And, you know, whatever this is, it don't have nothing to do with you. God said it don't have nothing to do with you. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to serve God. You bring offerings to God, and that's it. You are not taking any oaths to any evil deities. You will not be taking any oaths to any power-stricken people. You will not be taking any oaths to anybody but God. And that's the end of it. God says you belong to him and only him. I, I hear your mind. God says you belong to him. You belong to God. You are a part of God's family. You are a part of God's army. You are a part of God. He says you are his. And you don't belong to anybody else. You will not be paying any debts for anyone. If they wanted to go out and uh, make an oath, that is their business. If they wanted to go out and borrow money, that is their business. Nobody goes to banks and borrow money and then expect somebody else to pay the debt. God says it is not fair for someone to go out and they made an oath or they made a vow and they took money or whatever they did. And now they are looking to you for you to pay the debt with sin. No. Or with your life. No. God said no. They will pay their own debt. That it, it is theirs is theirs this is once again a situation where someone dug a pit for you and expected you to get in it and expected you to fall in it god said they dug that pit for themselves and it's sad because you know like i i like i don't know the outcome for this person whoever this person is that did this but that is between them and whatever they made a vow to, whatever they made took this oath to, whatever like deity or whatever it is, whatever demon that they've been dealing with. That is their business. But God said, don't have nothing to do with you. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.